last week. Hello there, welcome back. Now, her mother was an opera singer and she inherited a voice that spans five octaves. She was the first female singer to have five consecutive number one hits in America. Songs like Visions of Love and Emotions have made her an international star. She's still only 22. So welcome to Mariah Carey. It's really good to see you. Good to be here. It's really good. I was watching you last night on Top of the Pops um, singing live. That was really, really good. The backing singers are fantastic as well. Thank you. Very, yeah. very good. It's a little bit of a different thing to do it with just piano and vocals, so. Sure. Mm -hmm. Although you, you did do something for, for MTV, I believe, mm -hmm. which was very much sort of just you mm -hmm. singing. I mean, what, what's the actual show called? Well, it's called MTV Unplugged, and what Unplugged. it is is um, an acoustic showcase where bands or artists can go on and perform their songs live acoustically. So it was something really different for me because I don't do that much um, live performing because I haven't been on tour yet. So we put this show together and people really gave us a great response. Mm -hmm. So we decided to put it out as an EP and the single is I'll Be There, which is a remake of the Jackson 5's um, classic. That's right, of course, well, because you write your own stuff. Um, mm -hmm. So why did you decide to put out a remake? Because you must have lots of material of your own. As I said, it was really a last minute um, thing because we just did the show and we weren't even expecting to put this out at all. But um, the response was really good, and everybody kept talking about I'll Be There. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't even going to do a cover song in the set. They just said, we really want to cover. So I just sort of thought about it the last minute, put it together, and it sure. ended up being the single. So yeah, really it's a good happy. one. Is it one of your favorites? I mean, is it one of your favorite it's songs? It's definitely one of my favorite songs. It was a great uh, original version. Mm, it's good. Do you know if Michael Jackson's heard it or what they thought of it? You I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they'll like it. I'm sure they'll like it and think it's, think it's great. You didn't have any qualms though or any sort of reservations about doing something like that because you are sort of musically, you're quite sort of naked if you know what I mean because you're just there mm -hmm. singing and you don't have any of this, you know, any of the sort of studio, any of the effects or anything like that. So right. you didn't have any, any second thoughts about it? No, I was really looking forward to it because, I mean, for me, I, I felt it was a great opportunity to showcase my voice and to really get some of my personality across without always having to have production and, mm. you know, so much else going on. Yeah. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm really happy about it. Sure, because I imagine there'd be a lot of, of acts that just wouldn't have the nerve to do that. Right. <laughs> no, or, or indeed wouldn't be able to do it because mm -hmm. they, they need all that sort of, all that sort of backing. Mm -hmm. An awful lot's happened to you in, in quite a short time. Um, do you still sort of think to yourself, oh, this is all happening too fast, or are you quite in control of what's going on? Um, I think I really have a good outlook on everything, and I really just try to keep focused and stay grounded and realize that I'm, I'm really lucky to be having the success and just go with it and enjoy it. Mm. And it's something as well, because you write your own material, I mean, that, that really does seem to be the key to lasting for a long time, which is obviously the aim. You know, mm -hmm. you don't just want to be sort of here and then, and then disappear, obviously, but because you've got such an exceptional voice and you write your own stuff as well, do you, do you write on your, by yourself or do you write with other people? It depends. Um, I, I enjoy collaborating with people on the music and then I'll sing a few melodies over it and take it home and write the lyrics. Yeah. That's what I usually do. Right. I remember the last time you were on your, your voice because you were, had been singing so much, mm -hmm. you, you were losing it just a little bit. Have you had any problems with that or do you have to really sort of take care of yourself? Well, I don't think, I think that time it was more that I had a cold <laughs> and I lost my voice. Right. And one of the people traveling with me was just talk, talking to me about it back there. She said, I remember the last time yeah. we were here, you were telling me you were going to kill me because I gave you my cold and I, you <laughs> couldn't talk. Right. So this time a little bit better. I'm just, you know, I, I'm not a very good traveler, so. Right. And at the moment, you're, you're doing a, a sort of promotional tour at the moment. Any plans to tour, though? Do you have plans to, to do a tour? I don't have plans to do a tour right now because I put out two albums back to back. My first and second right. album came out so close to each other that I, I didn't really have time to put together a tour like most people would have been doing. But um, hopefully next time around with my next album, I'll do some dates. Right. And that's good. And that would be here and America and Europe as well? I, I think so, yeah, yeah. That's the thing. It's really strenuous. It's yeah, really I know. I mean, it's, it's hard enough. Presumably you're, you're going all over the place. I mean, where are you off to after this? I'm going home after this. Back today. home, mm -hmm. back home to see to see your cats, to see my cats and my dog. She just had an operation oh. on her leg, so yes. she's sad. <laughs> so you're wanting to get back home. You mm -hmm. must. Do you miss home? I mean, do you miss where, where you live? Where, where is it you're seeing now? Manhattan, is it? I live in Manhattan, but I like to go outside of the city a lot, and I've been doing some other things like trying to have some outside interest because I get so wrapped up in the music that sometimes I don't take a break from it. So right. I've been horseback riding and you know spending times with my 
friends and stuff. Oh, that's great. That's true, because you have to do that, don't you? You have to sort of, because it can be a bit daft, the, the old world of, the right. crazy world of entertainment mm -hmm. can really be a bit crazy and you do have to sort of take time out from it sometimes, don't you? Right, otherwise it's like you're just doing one thing and it doesn't really, it's not really healthy. Yeah, that's right. So. And the downside as well is the fact that you, you do get sort of articles written about you saying, I mean, I, I was reading somewhere that you, you were married or you were going to be married or you, you were married or whatever, you know, it's all, you don't have control of that. That must be strange, is it not, that you don't actually have control over what you, you might read about yourself? Um, yeah, it's it's kind of funny that one article they had taken, it was this magazine in America, and they took my head, they cut off my head in the mm -hmm. picture, um, and they put it on someone else's body in a wedding dress, oh dear. and I, I, I had no idea, and, and I'm sitting there, and my friend showed it to me, and I'm on the cover of a magazine in a wedding dress, <laughs> and it was the most, the craziest thing I've ever seen, and it wasn't even my body, the person had these really big shoulders, and it just, it was really funny. Oh, it's crazy, absolutely crazy. The papers in America are very strange, I must yeah. say, they are very strange. Listen, it's been great to talk to you. It's been great being I think here. we should, uh, we should show the video now. Okay, great. It's been really good to see you, and we wish you all the best, and hope that the pussy cats and the, the dogs haven't fought with one another. And everything's okay. <laughs> Thank it's been you. Great to see you. Thanks for Cheers. having me. And here's Mariah's latest single. It's number 11 in the charts, and it's her version of the Jackson Five classic. I'll be there.